Hello everybody, this is Steven Turner from Briggs Auction, and I'm going to give you a virtual preview of our February 24th Fine Estates Auction. This sale features live online bidding through our bidding platform, Bid at Briggs, as well as through live auctioneers. So you can either go to our website, briggsauction.com, you can download the Briggs Auction app in Google Play or the App Store, or you can head to liveauctioneers.com to bid. The sale will begin at 10 a.m. this Friday, February 24th. We start with lot number one and go in sequential order. And we typically do between 50 to 60 lots an hour. So it truly is an all-day affair. We will be selling online, I would say, probably till around 7 or 8 o'clock at night. This auction is relatively furniture-heavy featuring a lot of really nice modern design as well as antique pieces that we will preview. But there is also some great art, some great porcelain, some ceramics, some glass, really a little bit of everything. If you're looking for something for your home or to add to your collection, we really have it in this sale for you. So I'm just gonna walk around the room a little bit. We have some really nice Danish pieces from a local estate to include that three-seater sofa there. Some antique pieces to include one of my favorites which is this Victorian paneled oak file cabinet. Some really nice hardware on that cabinet there. Drawers are fully open, great for your collections. Really nice statement piece. Beautiful uh, Victorian single door bookcase in walnut. Great carving on that piece. Some contemporary reproduction furnishings as well. Nice faux bamboo china cabinet. Some carved oak chairs with funky upholstery. Little gilt wood console table. Louis XV style. Some early American pieces. Slant lid desks. Blanket chest. Paint decorated. New England pine mule chest. Some more modern furniture. You'll see a lot more of that in a little bit as well. Danish sideboard. Haywood Wakefield set. Great pair of Danish teak chairs. Great seats. Beautiful construction. There's a set of DR Dimes Windsor chairs. It's, a, it's an assembled set, but they all match. Beautiful tall case clocks. We'll take a quick look at these to include this Thomas Crow tall case clock. It's a well-known and desirable Wilmington, Delaware clockmaker. You don't see a lot of his clocks. This case is signed. Really nice walnut case. And you have this Chippendale tall case clock here with English works by Richard Rogers. Nice brass dial, moon phase dial. Take a quick look here. Rocking ship movement, the moon phase. And another English tall case clock there, a little Hoosier cabinet hidden back there. Like I said, this is a furniture heavy sale, so we are jammed with furnishings. We have several sofas in this sale. These are individually sold, but these Chesterfields here are as new condition. Another Danish piece there. Kittinger desk behind. Pair of Dorothy Draper style chests. They're great ring pulls. One of my favorite pieces in this sale is a statement oil painting here, 19th century seascape. Detail is great, and the sky is just gorgeous on this piece. Beautiful frame. Signed and dated lower right. Some more modern. Very large George Nelson slap bench here. I think it measures a little bit over eight feet. 
It's a gilt federal mirror there too. Some more great mirrors, convex mirror. There's a restoration hardware mirror there. And this sunburst mirror, Hornacetti style. You have some Scarpa leather furnishings, three piece set, sold individually. You have a three cushion sofa, two cushion love seat, and a lounge chair. A Paul McCobb sofa there. Some more modern, little Danish drop side desk. Some France and Sons living room tables. Paul McCobb chair. Great mid century modern plaid upholstered sofa bed, sleeper sofa. Cool leather top table here. Victorian parlor table. Another massive federal style wall mirror, gilt wood, convex. Farm table, two farm tables back there. Barristers, always popular. There's another Victorian bookcase in the back. The Georgian tall chest. About $4.94. Really nice pair of bronze Foo Lions, large pieces. Great inside of foyer. Talk about statement pieces there. Some really nice contemporary furnishings. Swivel lounge chairs here, marble top stands, some Thonet chairs, a great set. Six modern design chairs with cane backs, ebonized frames. A couple Stendig chairs. A set of Danish teak dining chairs there, that's lot number 57. Great Broyhill set here, Lowy style, plastic front drawers, super clean. You find these a lot, not a lot, but you find them from time to time and they're chipped up. These are in really good condition. Drawers are smooth, super high quality. So Paul McCobb Planner Group desk there. has the label, there it is, labeled inside. Shout out to our friends at Brian at the Mid-Century Furniture Warehouse where this seems like it came from at some point before it got to our consigner. More contemporary furnishings here. Well, we have stuff from the 18th century you know, to pretty much brand new in this auction. So a little bit of everything. Nice selection of carpets to kick off the auction. I think there's about 22 lots of carpets. Over here, you have this Paul Klee carpet. Rolled up, but great rug. Great picture of it online that you can see. Some Jakobsen chairs there. Great space age swivel chair on top of this amazing Italian modern onyx coffee table. The grading on that onyx is just spectacular. Take a look at that picture. We just posted it on Instagram as well last night, but gorgeous piece that you can see better on the photos. Here you see a lot of our traditional and reproduction furnishings here. All the big name brands, Kittinger, Baker, Stickley, Kindell, some antiques mixed in here. This would be great for a store. Display piece here. It's a shoe cobbler's piece, shoe rack. But it would be really great repurposed for just about anything. It's nice and sturdy. It's got great look, great patina. It's more reproduction and antiques. You have that French bread box there, bread cage, pastry cage. A lot of Chippendale style dining room furniture by all the popular names, Hinkle Harris. Kittinger, Baker, a nice stickly Harvey Ellis two-piece cherry china cabinet, a lot of glass door tops, inlaid on the bottom if I can get to it, there you go, nice inlaid lower case, brake front, brake front, brake front, 
all the brake fronts here. And back into some more modern. Great rattan set. A lot of nice modern lighting in the auction. The teak floor lamp. Contemporary dresser. Some more rattan. These are great. These little hanging resin chairs, egg chairs. Be great for indoor or outdoor use. Be really cool on a patio. Another teak dresser on top, rosewood base. Teak desk in a box. Italian lighting. There's some really nice Italian hanging lighting in this sale that you can take a look at on our website right now. Some of it's box, it's not available for me to show you right now. Hardoy chairs, three of them. Lot 89, set of six Danish Teak Moller dining chairs. Then some great credenza offerings. This Teak sideboard's beautiful, great hardware, nice detailing, timbre doors. Lamino chair, a lounge chair there. Great desk. These chairs are awesome. These zebra upholstered swivel lounge chairs. They're by Broyhill Prestige, lot number 65 for the pair. Great condition, super comfortable. Nice oversized swivel lounge chair, some more macabre. Bertoya, great American modern triple dresser. Big Obicon tapestry that can be seen really well on our website and app. All right, go through some of the smalls. We have two of these Fornicetti style TMS perpetual face vases, one in black. There's one in white right there. These are always popular, always good sellers. One of my favorite sculptures in the sale is this Marco Kemp sculpture. Gorgeous abstract modernist piece. Great Atmos clock. Unusual design for it. The Shinwazari style. Reverse painted boudoir lamp. A little bit of everything. Set style centerpiece. This is a gorgeous lot 150 on this Italian casket or snuff box here. Great detailing on that relief. A lot of really nice Chinese porcelain in this sale from a variety of collections and estates. Take a quick scan through it here. Some Canton, some Fumi Rose, a little bit of modern down there on the ice bucket. Great rose medallion covered jar. work our way over to this showcase. A little bit more traditional, the Onyx regulator clock. A few Seth Thomas ship's clocks. It's a great two-piece grouping there with the stapler and the Cartier desk clock. Some art glass, shaker boxes. Some stoneware. Great Belique candelabra, cherub candelabra there. It's more modern in artisan smalls. Some teak. Great hop saqua vase. Signed on the underside there. Some 
some studio pottery. Over to Dansk. It's a great modernist flatware set here, about 373. It's a Sasaki, Japanese set. Get that to focus. There you go. It's a great, great handles on that set. A little bit of sterling, more Chinese, cloisonne, some kugels, small assortment of antique, mechanical, and still banks. Really nice pair of Chinese wall vases. Gotten a lot of interest so far. Condition requests, some pre-bidding. Really nice pair of wall vases. And the regulator clock. Some hard stone pieces. Truly, there's everything in this sale, even, even including electronics. We have two of these balanced audio technology tube amplifiers, lot 16 and 17. These are incredibly pricey retail. For all your audio files out there, take a look at that. We also have a CD player, the same company. Some modern lighting, some Lucite, marble bust, slide glass. Out of the way, the Roseville umbrella stand. Some more rose medallion. Is a modernist Dansk fireplace tool set. Cheryl Wagner sink and faucet. Some more Chinese hardstone there. Up top, we have some more modern. This chair is fantastic. Beautiful lounge chair. Spindle back. Great pair of large mid-century modern table lamps. Some more dining chairs there. Like I said, there's a good amount of modern design in this sale. That you want to keep a lookout for. But then it's also very eclectic. We, we always try to keep it eclectic, something for all of our buyers. 19th century snare drum. It's an Italian pottery whippet. Some Haywood Wakefield lamps, rare form. Let's get some more Chinese. This is a beautiful piece. Lot 192 on the monumental Dragon Charger. I mean, there's, there's the size of it right there. Large size, blue and white. Has a Ming Dynasty six character mark on the side. This has also <clears throat> garnered quite a bit of um, requests pre-auction, a lot of interest. Some Ganey style planters. And there is a really nice Italian modern hanging chandelier interlocking glass panels. Pull that up on our website or app to take a look at it, put together. It is lot number 415, lot 415. Another umbrella stand here. A great patriotic one. Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell on the other side, Majelica. We have so many pieces of great artwork in the sale, but I just want to highlight a few of them. Here you have this great John Neagle portrait painting. Beautiful gilt frame on it as well. Let's see, it has the information on the back. Mrs. A. G. Hockling, painted by John Neagle in 1829. Great old frame, Newman Gallery's tag on the frame. It's a really nice illustration piece, French illustration, World War, I think it's World War I era. Gilt framed, signed lower right. We have a Guy Desert Harbor scene. And there's also a lot of really nice modern art in the auction as well. 
We have a Lackman painting, a large format painting that I'll go take a look at in a second here with you. But also just a lot of nice geometric works, contemporary art, modern art, antique portraits, some large format paintings. As you can see, our art racks are just full of artwork for you to bid on. This is a great Fran Lackman large format oil on canvas painting. You also have lot 449, which is this beautiful gilt wood, Louis XVI style parlor table, green marble top that does have some repairs, but the stretcher base is just stunning with that lyre base, really great gilt work, fret work apron. Everybody's house needs a carousel horse. This is really attractive, whitewashed, almost down to its natural wood state. That's lot number 198. Another Chesterfield sofa here. Last in the preview, but certainly not least, we have this Criterion music box. Disc music box on stand. A lot of extra discs there. Let's give it a play. Well, that will conclude the preview for our February 24th Fine Estates auction. Like I said, this auction will begin at 10 a.m. with live online bidding through our website, BriggsAuction.com. Our app, which, you can be, which can be downloaded on the Google Play and App Store, as well as live auctioneers. Thank you so much, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our weekly videos. 